Hey there guys, welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net So today we're going to be creating reflective text So it's almost like a glass reflection So this is kind of good for header logos or particular parts of your website So I'm going to come to File, New I'm just going to make this 600 by 150 I'll actually make it a little uh, bigger for you guys to see I'll make it 750 by 250, click OK. So I'm just going to fill this in, uh, black, make it a lot easier for people to see when you are watching. So here we have our blank canvas here, black. Uh, next I'm going to come down here to the corner and the small page that's overturned here, I'm just going to click on that and this creates a new layer. So I'm just going to click on that, as you can see, layer 2. So I'll just zoom out, come over here, select my text tool. So just select what colour of text you like. I'm just going to select white so it's easy for you guys to notice. And your font size and your font type, etc. So I'm happy with that. <coughs> I'm just going to come over to the canvas and type in the word reflective. reflective. So, just put in test. <clears throat> so, when I've done this, I want to come down to that layer 2 we were on before. I want to right click and I want to come to rasterize type. Not rasterize layer, rasterize type. So, when I've done that, I'm going to come back on top of the same layer and I'm going to duplicate it. I'll just uh, keep that name, default name is copy. So I'm then going to come back down to this small bar here and I'm going to click on the add a layer mask and as you can see it adds a layer mask just here. So zoom out, I'm going to come over, so what this has done is this has laid another um, layer of the exact same text. You can't notice it just now because it's um, been placed directly on top. So to change this we need to come to edit free transform and flip vertically so as you can see there it is there looks a bit of a mess <clears throat> now it's very important this next step we need to come here and select a small move tool now rather than move it manually I would suggest that you use your arrows to move it which will keep it in line um, and the best way to do it is just really have one pixel in between both um, flip both text top and bottom just that thin thin black line um, across there so <clears throat> next what we're going to do is we're going to come to our gradient tool so just come over to the paint bucket right click and select gradient now <clears throat> I'm just going to select this gradient here um, simple black to white ok there it is there and we're going to come down to the canvas um, it just depends what kind of reflection you want. I'm going to take it from halfway down here and I'm going to pull it up to the top. If I hold shift key it will make sure my line is straight um, therefore the actual gradient is straight. So there you go, there's a the gradient there. Um, I'm just going to do another one and pull it down a bit more till you get the actual effect that you want. The closer you are to the text the more vague your image will be. So when I'm happy with that I'm going to come across uh, back down to the palette at the bottom here again what we were at before and I'm going to come to these opacity levels and fill levels and it really just depends on what uh, font and what colour you've used but you can just play about with these and it'll just soften as you can see I'm happy with that Run about uh, 50 and you can alter the fill as well I'll we'll keep the fill at about 84 so that's it there <coughs> a nice <coughs> reflection there so I hope this tutorial has helped uh, please drop by the website helpvid.com Dot net. And until the next tutorial guys, please stay safe.